Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and welcome to the last upload before Brugmas starts. That's right, Brugmas starts on Sunday, December the 18th, and I'm releasing merch the same day. So set your calendars for that. But in this video, I'm going to be going over Backrooms level 611.4, aka Tychophobia. Now, Tychophobia is the fear of random. That's right. It is the fear of random things, so you can probably imagine how crazy this level is about to get. Thank you all for everything, and let's get into the video, shall we? So this level is classified as a class variable, of course, because of all the varying levels of safety and hazards that can happen. The entire level looks like a house, but it's not just a regular house, it's a massive, expansive house. The level seems to be different in layout and in difficulty for everybody that comes here, but it can all randomly change, so there's no use in trying to make it an exact level classification. It can be safe one second, and then dangerous the next. There still is a basic outline for how the level is made up though, and it's got a few certain rooms, and those rooms are actually living rooms, bathrooms, hallways, kitchens, bedrooms, and there could even be a rogue outdoor outside area. But those are the different types of spaces that we'll talk about in this video, and you can randomly get sent to any of them by just being here and walking around. Sometimes it's a random teleportation, sometimes you'll open a door and there'll be a different place there. It's so random that you can never tell. But now, I'm gonna get into the explanation of the different rooms. So the living rooms of this level tend to be on the empty side. It seems like each of them will have a TV, a few couches, and maybe a rocking chair or two. You know, just the normal stuff. The living rooms are also hot spots for entities on this level. Which is kind of bad because there's only two rooms that are hot spots, and living rooms are one of them. Entities like skin stealers thrive here, as well as some other unknown shadowy figures. These rooms connect to other rooms through hallways, but these hallways can shift and move randomly, so there's no guarantee you'll ever go back to the same room you were in. Pretty much, you just gotta throw all knowledge and all physics that you know and all science that you know to the wind because none of it is gonna apply here. After the living rooms, there are the bedrooms, which which are easily, and I mean easily, the strangest parts of this level. So for all of them, they have a weird 80s, 90s liminal space vibe, and they all seem to have perfectly white furniture in them, like desks and chairs and bookshelves and bed frames, that type of thing. All of it's white. And in every bedroom, there is a TV somewhere that's playing nothing but white static. Like, that's all it can play, just white static. Every account of this level's bedrooms has all those things, the white furniture and the TV playing white static, but at the same time, all the decorations besides those things look different. There are always doors in these bedrooms too, but if you open up one of those doors and walk out, it'll turn you around and you'll just walk back into the same room again. Each time you do that though, some weird stuff might happen. Like if there was a pin on the desk, then it might be gone when you walk back in the room. Or if there was a book on the floor, it might be put on a shelf when you walk back into the room. Just weird stuff like that. These bedrooms are also full of strange paranormal Noia feelings, so it always will feel like something's watching you or waiting for you to come into sight. Some people theorize that there's an entity that hides under the beds or in a closet or in the shadows, but who knows. The kitchens are the next part of the level, and they're also very strange. They're usually made out of all wooden materials, so the cabinets and tables and all that stuff will be old looking wood. And these areas are also decorated in a pre-2000s vibe. The kitchens are all really hot and you'll start sweating just by getting here. And they're hot because all the ovens and microwaves are on full blast constantly, and you can't change it or take it off or anything. The doors that would normally lead to a different room or a pantry or another just area in the house in these kitchens will just lead to the exact copy of that same kitchen that you're in. So you'll be in a place that looks like this, and then you open the door, walk to the next place, and it'll be the exact same place again. Great. The lights in the ceilings are also very dangerous because they can get so hot that they could literally roast you alive. Literally. There's also a strange entity that hides in these kitchens that hunts down the prey that gets weakened from the heat. Uh, so be ready for that. 
The level also has bathrooms. Of course it does. In the bathrooms, there is a constant sound of water dripping. Almost like there's a pipe that's broken or something. The water in the toilets and in the sinks and everywhere is freezing cold. It's literally so cold that it feels like it has ice in it, but it doesn't. And this area is the second and last hotspot for entities. The first hotspot was the living room, and this one is the second one. And it's very strange because the entities here are very different from normal entities. There are regular ones like hounds and clumps, but there are a few weird cases of people seeing things underneath a stall door or seeing heads pop under a stall door as well. Sometimes people will open one of those doors and they'll get taken in by the entity behind it or dragged out from under it by an entity on the other side. That's all we know about the bathrooms though, but it's enough for me to know that I would never go there. The hallways of this level are also an area, I guess, but they're just a bunch of intertwining, looping, non-Euclidean hallways that seemingly lead to infinite parts of the level. Now, the hallways themselves are kind of like hotel ones, I guess you could say, but all the lights are strange colors, like yellow and red and green, that kind of thing. There are also doors that lead to more hallways and more hallways that lead to doors, and all of it just gets really confusing really, really fast. The last discovered area is the outdoor door area that I hinted at earlier, and this part is very rare to get to, and it always seems to happen accidentally. Like, no one ever purposely goes here, they just get sent here. But it looks like a dark road with these weird-looking trees completely surrounding it, and this is also a hotspot for entities, apparently, and they seem to just roam the roads looking for something to eat. And things like smilers are common here. There is one last place that just got discovered, and it's kind of like a basement area, but there is no information on it, and this is the only picture we have for it, and it just looks like an unfinished basement. Let me know in the comments what you think the basement might do. There's no info on it, but I want to hear your theories. To enter this level, you have to come from the previous one, level 611.3, and to exit, you can open a door in one of the hallways that glows red, or you can make it to the outdoor area and no clip through the road. Uh, good luck. You're gonna need it. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Merch is coming out in two days. I will post a video about it when it comes out, the shorts, all that kind of stuff, and I'll be advertising it all next week, and I'm really excited for it. I really hope you all are too. The drop is so dope, and I cannot wait to see if you get anything. If you do, tag me on Twitter. I'll follow you back. I'll, I'll heart the comment. I'll do everything because I just want to see how much you guys enjoy this. The design made myself. Everything is so premium and high quality. I personally vouch for it, and I wanted to make merch that I might myself would wear and this stuff looks dope so like i really hope you enjoy it let me know your thoughts on it in the description let me know your thoughts on it when you get it thank you so much for everything i love you all and i will see you on sunday for the start of brugmas peace